this is Tyler Lund with the Monarch Heller staff. Today I'm just going to be showing you how to tie a few different kinds of ties and uh, get ready for winter ball. Here we go. Okay, so the first tie we're going to learn how to tie is the bow tie. So what you're going to want to do for the bow tie is just start in this regular position here and then just tie it like a shoelace at first. Just cross these two and then um, under with one and tighten just like uh, you do with the shoelace when you start to tie your shoe um, so once you do this you're going to take this right um, this right part and just fold it halfway like this just halfway so it kind of looks like a bow tie already as you can see then you're going to take this um, the left one the left part and just put it over and then once you have that done, you're going to fold these two parts like this and just pinch there and hold them there. And just bring this close to your neck. So what you're going to see then is there's going to be a little hole right here that you're going to be able to take this, um, this part and just kind of fold half of it, put half of it into this hole here, just, just like you did with this other the front part. So you can just... Um, put half of it in to make it look like look like a bow tie here as you can see I have done then once you have that you're just gonna let go of this and just bring kinda just tighten these by grasping both of the back and the front leaves these back leaves these front leaves and these back leaves and just pulling until the front part is tightened in maybe just adjust this front part a bit but once you do that you're just gonna tighten it till it's a good length and it looks pretty nice um, uh, like I've done here and then obviously you're just gonna fold this part down and have that looking nice so uh, the next tie we're gonna learn how to do is the four in the hand this is one of the easiest ties to tie. So first off, what I'm going to show you is basically you have to figure out because of your own height um, how far or even these have to be. For me, since I'm smaller, it has to be usually up here like this. But if you're taller, you'll find out that it'll be more even. But you basically just have to figure that out for yourself. But uh, what you're going to first do is you're going to take this thick part here. You're going to put it over the small part and wrap it under this so it's on the same side again. Then you're going to wrap it over one more time. But instead of going under and back, you're going to go under and over. And just grab this, take this. Then you're going to put it through this little hole you've made yourself right here. And just... oh. Uh, pull it through and then just first you're going to just want to tighten this tie this this part um, this first part by using the thick the thick end and then to bring it up just take this small piece while grasping the end of the knot just kind of push up and pull and then you can tighten it as as much as you want and make the adjust the length um, and then obviously put these down, and yeah, there you go. So the next tie we're going to learn is the half Windsor, and again, you're just going to want to find out, uh, according to your height, how even these are going to be or how far. You'll just have to do some trial and error on that. Um, but what you're going to first want to do is basically the same start. Fold this over the small piece. And then um, bring it under so it's on the same side again. So then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the bill and you're going to want to put it through this little hoop you have had you have that's right by your neck. And just pull it on through like that so it's nice. And you're going to have this on the same side. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this and bring it around over this little knot you've made and just bring it around and 
back under your neck. Then you have this hole you got, you've made yourself here again. You can just put this right on through and just pull and kind of tighten the knot here. So once you've tightened the knot again, you're just going to take the end of the tie to pull it up and just bring it up here. And then you can just adjust the tie according to your height or whatever you need. And then there we go. Okay, so the last tie we're going to learn is um, the full Windsor. Uh, this tie, what you're going to do for this is you're going to just start the same way. Go over. And then instead of coming back under, you're going to go through this little hole here you've got. And just bring it to the same side like this. And then you're going to go under. And just keep it kind of, you can just hold um, this little knot you've made right over here like this. Then you're going to bring it around and back to the same side and go under once more like this. Bring it up and then you'll see you still have that little hole you made. And just put that right on through here toward like that. And then again just tighten it the same way. Tighten with the big, um, big part and then just kind of grab the end. Tighten accordingly. Get nice. And then, yeah, just accordingly. So there you go, guys. There's four ties you can use to go to Winter Ball. And um, you can just pick which one you think looks the best and use it. And uh, thanks for watching. And be sure to read our newspaper uh, and listen for the announcement on when it comes out. Thanks. <laughs>